Son Congen, who's won in his career 18 global medals, but never a gold. He's won five silver and three gold at the Paralympic Games. Reigning world champion in this also, Liu Yang. Uh, interesting story about Curtis Tommy. He is a wheelchair racer, obviously T54, but he's only just come back into the sport this year. He was out for just about two years. He lost vision. There was a, a build-up of fluid pressure on the brain. And uh, for 21 months, he was out of the sport. But now with vision fully restored, he's back in the T54 game. Here's Sai Chong Kong Jian. Silver in the 200 and the 4x4 and bronze in the 15. In Doha, and he's the reigning Asian Games champion over 100 and 800. Liu Yang, who went out in the semi-finals of the 5,000 meters. There's a couple of 5,000 athletes who are competing in this. Kenny Van Weigel, gold in the 200. At the last two World Championships, he's won four World Crowns and the Paralympic champion in the 400 from 2004. And even going further back in time, he's another world title there. In 2002, he's won four in total. All his world titles coming in the 200 and his only Paralympic title coming in this. Alex Adelaide, a bronze in the 4x4 at the World Championships in Doha, his only major championship medal. He finished fifth in the one and the two in the Europeans in Grosseto. Lovely town, about 150 kilometers up the coast, due north from Rome. Really strong flooding, bad weather there unusually when we were there for the Europeans a few months ago, in the height of the Italian summer. Saishan Konchen has done very well out of the recent Asian Championships. Kenny Van Weigel, five global medals in his career. The most recent Worlds, gold in the two, silver in the eight. Bronze in the 100 and the 400. Four medals for the Dutchman. Liu Yang, reigning world champion in three disciplines. Reigning Asian Games champion over two, and he also won Paralympic gold in the 4x4 in London. It's from Guangzhou. Curtis Tom on the outside. 4x4 gold for Canada at the World Championships in Lyon in 2013. It's his third Paralympic Games. So the first two to automatically qualify for the final, plus the next two fastest across the three heats. Congen, Lou, Adelaide, Gabi, Van Weigel, Tom. And they get away. Van Weigel wheeling very strongly at the moment, overtaking Tom and his outside, and also Liu Yang of China. He's overtaken Adelaide and is looking to do the same with Yasin Gabi of Tunisia on his outside. Van Weigel flying at the moment, looking very strong for the Netherlands. Lou moving up also now, and in between them, Garby doing the best. Adelaide trying to keep up for France, but finding himself left in the way. Lou speeding up, and when they straighten up, I think Lou will just be in front of Van Weigel, and he will be. Garby responding well for Tunisia. It's only the top two will automatically go through. Lou Yang leading for China. Van Weigel holding off Garby well. Lou Yang takes over China, 46-42. Van Weigel in second place. And Garvey in third. Liu Yang went out hard. He was well drawn in three. It's such, well, he's actually in four. He's such a good lane, three and four, because you've got to, most of the field outside you. Can keep an eye on them. Van Vegel had to find a couple of extra hard pushes to see off the man on his inside, which was Garvey of Tunisia. But uh, Liu Yang had the best personal best coming in so the race went according to those times at least a 46 42 is almost identical to his pb 